Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video, I'm going to show you how I edit my YouTube thumbnail using completely free websites or editing software. So let's just hop right into it. Let's go to Chrome and let me just search Canva. This is one of my favorite editing tool. Canva is totally free. So let's just click on onto that. Now the other one is Pixlr. So I edit my picture here whenever I want the background to be changed or I want just the picture itself to be in the thumbnail. So this is what I use. This is the best app. So just double click on that. Now going back to Canva, going back to Canva, let's search YouTube thumbnail okay okay so we have here just click on that you can close the home button oh no yeah so creating now let's go to Pixlr I've already downloaded the images that I'll be using for the thumbnail by the way, the thumbnail will be all about, or will be used for the video that I've uploaded. Uh, it's DepEd Ranking Process. So I've already downloaded the pictures that I need. So you might want to scroll down. And you can see here, Pixlr Editor Launch Web App. Just choose the three, the third, sorry, the third choice yeah three choice for that ah. okay now let's just okay now guys for pixlr you might notice that uh it needs to enable the flash or run flash you just allow it and then you will be redirected to okay the editor which looks like this let me just may uh have this full screened so you can show it so i can show it to you clearly just click on uh open image from computer and just go to the picture that you want to edit as for me i want okay so I've downloaded good job or yeah let's first edit this one just double click on that and now you I want the background to be transparent or clear let's close this so we'll be using this tool it's one tool this is totally a uh, it's amazing to use this one because it will clear out just like that in just a second so we clear out we click on that and we click on the white uh, portion of it and then just uh, on your keyboard you just click delete or clear that okay guys we'll be using one tool just click on it and you might notice that there is layer here or the background and you might notice a lock icon just click on that double click on that and now after having that done just uh, look at <laughs> look at your keyboard and click delete so what you've noticed it became it already became transparent or checker that means it is now transparent just control s to save and the format just change it to png or transparent and then okay that's saved already
be used with a plain background it could be white it could be pink as long as it is a solid background just delete it to make it transparent so therefore it's transparent just control s to save oh no so we'll control save it and then choose png transparent so we have it now this uh, the pixlr is just like the same with Thick Monkey. Thick Monkey uh, with Thick Monkey, it's... Now, let's show you how about cropping your picture. No, since uh, your background is not plain and you want to crop your picture. Let, let me show you. Open in. background won't be transparent we will be using this tool this is the lasso tool just click on that and you might notice that there is polygonal lasso tool we'll click on that let Okay, so we are done cropping it. Make sure. Okay, just cut it. Go to edit. Go to cut. So it will be cut from the clipboard, from the image. And then go to file. Go to new image. And uh, check this one. Create image from clipboard and transparent. Okay. So now we have it. This is completely transparent now. So there's no background. Now uh, I want it to have a little bit of a Y, a border. Just go to layer styles, outer glow, and then I'll be choosing pink. Okay. And then I'll, uh, the hardness will be zero, size will be like that and okay is there any okay I'm, I'm done with this one just control save save for a while again it should be transparent full quality and okay Click on it. Now we can go to Canva to edit or to put all of those images together. Now I see I'll see you on the part two of this video. I'll be linking it down below. See you there.